and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and this should be the third video you guys are seeing for today. If all goes well, recording this one a little later than usual, off my schedule today, but it's all good, guys. Now, the basis of this video is going to be what to expect in October. We are on October 2nd, boys. October is always a fun month for Madden. It's not the most fun month. That's typically December because it's Christmas. It's the holidays. Madden's a fun time. We're good coin making, but one of the most fun periods of Madden is October. October, we typically get two total promos. At least that's how it's working out this year. So in this October, we will be getting Mutt Heroes and Most Feared. Now, Most Feared is one of the most liked and fan favorite promos Madden's ever been a part of or Madden's ever implemented into the game. So I'll be going over the Mutt Heroes a little bit. Not much to talk about because obviously I went over that in plenty of other videos, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that one. And obviously, when it comes to Most Fear, there's a lot to talk about because we have not spoken about it yet. Most Fear, I'll give you guys the dates I expected, what I expect from the promo, how much coins you can potentially make, collectibles, sets, cards, players, and special cards that they're going to have, and much, much more, guys. I'll go over all that in this video. But before we get into the video, guys, don't forget I am running a three-day giveaway. I already did day one, day two. The winner was announced in today's first video. Now, we did day two already, which is yesterday, so I'll announce those tomorrow. And today's day three, guys. So the way today's working is I will give away 150K to a random commenter. All you got to do is go down below, comment 150K, and drop a like on the video. If any video today, any of the three videos I post get a 1,000 likes, any of them, doesn't matter which one, I will give away one random commenter, 150K. All you got to do is comment down below, 150K, your console you play on, and like the video. That's simple. And on a side note, guys, if you haven't already, turn on that noti bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video just like this entertainment news whatever you guys come to this channel for you got all of it here and also make sure to hit that subscribe button boys we're this close to 9k literally like we'll probably be at 9k by the time you guys see this video and then next is our big milestone which is 10k we'll be in the uh right now we're four figures i don't want to call it well, three figures but then we'll be four figures if we're going by zeros so i'm pretty excited for that guys so let's get to that thank you so much for all the support guys and let's get into this video so first things first let's get the handy dandy notepad ready for me now we got mutt i'm gonna call it muttober we got October, October, whatever you want to call it. October 2nd today. So this Friday, which should be, today's the 2nd, so 3rd, 4th. Like October 4th, we should be expecting Mutt Heroes. I imagine Mutt Heroes isn't going to be the longest promo because we do have most fear coming directly after that. Now, what can we expect from Mutt Heroes? From Mutt Heroes specifically, I expect a card from every team with special abilities. Now, if you guys know what I mean by that, Unless they do something really cool this year with new abilities, because we do have that in the game now. Last year, every card had specific stats, like superpowers to their cards. So like Saquon Barkley well, had, had superhuman carrying, which means he had his, his, his Saquon card had like good speed, good sharpening, but like 97 carrying, 95 carrying. They, every Mud Heroes card has one crazy stat based on like their real life skills. Like Odell was superhuman one handed catching. So he had, let's just say, he'd have maximum spec catch. Aaron Rodgers is like perfect mid middle field accuracy or perfect short accuracy andrew luck actually i think had perfect short accuracy quick reads so he had like 95 throw accuracy short everything else is every other stat will be more so in line with his overall like a 91 overall quarterback what it would look like but there's gonna be one stat that's gonna be like 95 to 99 eric uh, eric berry last year was zone coverage so we had like a 95 zone coverage which means you can almost get it to 99 a lot of cool things you can expect from mud heroes that's pretty much how those cards work and they could come with sidekicks like they usually do which is like 84 overall 86 overall cards that are kind of like set pieces to build these top pieces this promo probably will last no longer than two weeks if it comes out the fourth i expect mud heroes to drop i mean october promo which is halloween promo i expect the halloween promo to drop somewhere around the 17th 18th of october between the 17th and the 20th of october if it indeed does drop mud heroes this friday which it should so you can expect but most fear to come out about two weeks after that now most feared right one of the most fun promos it comes with a lot of a lot of defensive players this is what i always think when i always think of most fear, i think of top tier defensive players because those are the players that are feared right you fear them you don't want to get hit by them so last year we had derwin james we had jimmy graham we had uh i'm gonna blank on these but i remember i remember derwin james really good card good hit power good speed most fear usually breeds really good cards now last year we had the night guardians and like you know things usually we've had trick-or-treat cards We've had quite a few cool things in the years past, but I don't know how they'll do it this year, but typically they'll have a set of regular style players, like 90 overall, most of your cards. 
Then they'll have like the bosses. The bosses are like the 93 overall. And then a few limited times. So like we had limited time Mean Joe Green. And then we have like the Night Guardians or like the top piece. So like Kahlo, Mac, and Aaron Donald. So I'm expecting this year maybe a Kahlo, uh, Aaron Donald, maybe a Kahlo Mac. Kahlo Mac did just get a card. So I'm leaning more towards Aaron Donald. Typically you get those stud defensive players. So Mean Joe Green, like I said. We had Takeo Spikes one time. Again, Aaron Donald would be really cool. Now, you can expect at least about, in my opinion, two bosses. Like, four to eight top set piece kind of type cards. A bunch of lower lower overall cards. Like, a bunch of bottom tier team of the week looking team uh, set pieces. And then maybe even some collectibles this year. Maybe even a currency. Maybe like a pumpkin currency. That'd be pretty cool. We've never had a currency for Most Feared. But Most Feared really isn't like a month long promo. So, I don't really know how they'll go about that. But I think a currency would be really cool. So, you know, just seeing pumpkins in the corner. Now, as far as sets go, in years past, even last year, we had a set where it was eight cards, which were all 90 overalls. Like I said, Jimmy Graham, Derwin James. There was a Jared Goff, a Derrick Henry. Oh, they're coming back now. There was a linebacker on the Titans that I can't remember his name. He's really slow. Anyways, Brian Arakpo, I think. Anyways, so there was eight of them. So the way that worked, you put them into the set, you got them back all in that, and then you get the bosses. Now, if they did something like that this year, that'd be cool, but they have not implemented anything like that so far this year, so I don't know if they'll even go that route this year. I always was a fan of those type of sets because you'd initially get eight cards back for free, and then you'd get the boss player. You could sell the boss player for like 800K, and let's say the set cost you a million coins, you'd lose 200K difference, but you keep 890 overall cards. I always love those types of sets, but... They have not done that this year yet, so I can't anticipate that. Now, as far as collectibles, like I said, I don't know if they'll implement collectibles for this so far because they haven't really done... They've only done, like, kickoff collectibles and, like, a few other things, but we have to see. There could just be a currency, which is kind of how they replaced it in other promos last year. As far as cards, I think the highest overall cards would be maybe, like, a 94 limited time most feared boss and then maybe, like, a limited time one, though. And then the regulars, like, if there's an Aaron Donald, I think maybe, like, a 93. And then most of the most feared players probably, like, 92, 93s. The bosses would be, like, 94, 90, 94, 93. And then a limited time boss would be like a 94, 95, depending. We are ahead of overalls this year because last year, the ball, the set pieces were 90 overalls. We already have plenty of 90 overalls, so I don't even know how that would really work in this game. I'd imagine it have to be a little bit higher than that. So the overall trajectory, trajectory is obviously not going to be the same. Next, I got to talk about is enraged cards. So most feared is infamous or well known for mo enraged cards, whether or not people like them or they don't. The way these work is that on Halloween night, your players become pretty much monsters. So last year, if I remember cor uh, correctly, did it by height. They've done it by stats. So like, let's say years ago, like Madden 13, back when I first started playing back then. I think the night, the day of Halloween, so October 31st, all the way through to like October 1st, I mean, November 1st or 2nd, the players would become enraged. And pretty much, let's say you had uh, Odell Beckham Jr. He'd get, he'd get, he'd become like a 99 overall for like a few days. So like he'd have like 95 speed, 95 catching or whatever. And then last year they did it by height and weight. So... Let's say Jimmy Graham was six foot, uh, he's in real life, he's like, what is he, six foot seven? On Halloween, for those that day of Halloween, the next day afterwards, Jimmy Graham was like seven foot eight, eight foot six, and he was like a monster on the field. Or there was like, the, we had the, the mini baby cards, they were like, literally, Jared Goff was just tiny on the field. They always do like cool height things and cool gameplay adjustments like that. That's always pretty cool. That's kind of like a big part of Most Feared. With enra that's what enraged cards are. They go, they have good stats, really good height, really good weight. It's kind of annoying to even play Mutt that week. I remember last year, I think I had it enraged Deshaun Jackson, and Deshaun Jackson literally was like, he had like 97 speed, or something like that, or like 95 speed, and he was like 7 feet tall. It was pretty fun to use him. Kind of annoying though, because when you, you can't really play online that week, because it's pretty much reversing all enraged cards, and it kind of gets annoying after a while. And as far as coin potential, most feared typically isn't the best promo to just make straight up coins. There are definitely better promos, like the Christmas promo, and even Thanksgiving promo. Most figures not bad. Hopefully they give us one free card. That's what I'm praying for out of the sets that we get at least one free card option from the October promo. Because so far they've given us a free superstar, a free theme diamond, some free stuff. They did not give us a free kickoff, so I'm hoping they make up for that with a free most fear. Because typically the big promos they do give us something free. And like I said, coin potential. Unless they give us like one of those sets that we can have, you know play around with a little bit. I don't see too much coin potential from this. Maybe working the market. But most coin potential starts coming around like Christmas and Thanksgiving for those promos, guys. But I think that about wraps everything up. We went over Mud Heroes, the sets and players for Mud Heroes, the overalls. We went over Most Feared, the Enrage cards, the sets you can expect. Like I said, a boss set, some lower piece sets, some token exchange sets possibly. But we don't have tokens this year. So, you know, it depends on what we maybe with trophies or something. We got to see that. And then we got, 
I went over collectibles, cards, players, and coin potential. So we pretty much covered up my whole list. There's not much more to talk about. I mean, unless we get a series update, but in my opinion, I feel like a series update might not come just yet. We did just get one like, what was it, a week or two ago? I really don't remember. Maybe, maybe a week and a half ago, we got our series update. So at this point in time, I don't see a series update coming within October. It's either going to be like the last, it's going to be right before Halloween. But because of most speed, I think it'll be right after Halloween. So like the first few days of November, guys. But that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell, boys. Let's get to 9K and then 10K. And then comment down below, 150K. Like the video. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes or any video today. And I'll give away 150K, boys. Don't forget to comment your console also. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys later. Peace.